outside of the octagon, what's the best scrap you've ever been in? Just toe to toe. Is it, who do you do you remember the guy's name or was it just like a story? Do you remember who? What was the best fight you've been I, in? I, I, you know, this is God's honest truth, man. I've never been in a scrap where I had to just knock somebody out. That's awesome. I'm serious. It's true. Oh yeah, the, well yeah, that wasn't a scrap. That was the same thing. It was a guy named I don't want to say his name, but it was a guy in Susanville. Yeah. The guy was probably two hundred and sixty pounds, about six four. Um, there was this girl that I had been going out with, not serious or anything. It was just kind of just sporting her, and uh, so we're driving, and me and two of my friends are in the car, and uh, <laughs> one of my friends, Billy Burke, that was Rick Radosovich, and I'm driving my dad's '57 Cadillac. I want to be a rips, completely restored. Yeah, we're going to this party, and also this truck's in front of us, right? So we're driving. All of a sudden, I see this truck stop. And all of a sudden, this dude gets out. It's Ron Sanchez. I've said his name. So <laughs> we can edit it out if you want. <laughs> so he gets out of the truck, and then I see this girl's head poking out the back window, looking at me, going, saying something. And, and Ron's getting out of the truck, and I'm looking, and like, I'm not, I don't, it's like, I'm not putting it together because we're not really together together. Yeah. And so I'm getting, so I get out of my car, and, I, and Ron throws his beard and skips across my dad's hood. Oh, shit. And I was like, oh, dude, you're so dead. <laughs> And so he, why are you following us? I was like, what? <laughs> why are you following us? She's not with you. And I'm thinking to myself, are they joking? He's like, I'm not fine. I'm going to a party. Yeah. <laughs> I'm looking for something you else. You pulled over and stopped in front of me. I yeah. said, I can't run over you. <laughs> so he jumps up. He comes towards me. And when he throws that beer across the car, and then he starts to take a swing at me. Like, and he's a big dude. I think I was probably 190, 195 pounds then. And he goes to swing at me, and I hit him. Bam! And he's got Birkenstocks on. He had these slippers on, right? And yeah. I hit him. 260, literally lifting him out of his sandals onto the ground. Oh, shit. Hits the ground, right? His sandals are still in the sand. <laughs> Just smoking. So Billy screams at me, get in the car! <laughs> so we get in the car, pull up, pull around, and go try to run over him. And we go to this party. We're only there for about 10 minutes, and all of a sudden, the talk starts. Yeah. So Bill said, we got to go. Let's get out of here. Because cops are going to come, right? So we go, <laughs> jump the car, we go home. Well, Billy jumps in, and he's, my dad was up. He always waits for us to get home. It's about 1, one, two, one o'clock in the morning. So Billy goes, dude, you just saw it. <laughs> so he starts, because I'm trying to explain that he's got a scratch on his hood. <laughs> yeah. So Billy said, oh, you got to see it, because I was talking the whole time. I'm going to explain it. Just tell him. So Billy jumps in. Hey, man, you should have saw it. Ken got out of the car, and Billy jumped around through a beer and skipped across the trunk of his car. And as he heard that, he kind of lit up a little bit. He says, but then Ken knocked him out. And he's like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay, well, as we're talking about it, my dad was like kind of smiling and laughing about yeah. the story and everything. And went and checked his car. and wasn't that bad. He could yeah. buff it out. And we came back in. The phone rings. <laughs> this was probably 2 o'clock in the morning now. Yeah. So my dad picks up the phone and goes, hello, and it's Ron. And Ron's screaming like with the slurring gun. Like, you get in here. She's like, I'm going to come out and kick you this. And we had a standing in the home with 18 boys. Oh, man. Like if you had a beef with somebody, you go out back, put yeah. gloves on, we'll serve popcorn and coke. Yeah. Like bring guys from town, whatever. We'll just go out back and settle it. Yeah. And so my dad says, okay, Ron, come on out. Come you know on down. Rule. You know our rule. You can come out. You can Ron fight. Sanchez, come yes, on down. Yes. He, <laughs> he, he, goes, he goes, come on down. And so he hangs up the phone. My, and so my dad goes, hey, Ron's coming out. He wants to fight you. And so I can literally go from calm to hype. Like, Here we go. I'm going, Ron, come on and kill him. I'm going to kill him. And I'm strutting around. <laughs> 30 minutes later, the phone rings again. Yeah. My dad picks it up. He goes, Mr. Shermo, <laughs> he goes, my dad goes, yes, Ron. He goes, I've never been hit so hard in my life. <laughs> I won't be coming out. <laughs> oh, no. The price was wrong, Ron. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's hilarious. <laughs>